Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am making instant iced coffee or latte, however you wanna look at it. I'm making a latte because I am using Cafe Bustella instant espresso. So espresso and milk is a latte. If you just got the um, instant coffee, then you would just be making an iced coffee. Do what you want. It's all kind of in the same process. This is not my idea. This is not unique to me. I found this on TikTok from Mama D. Um, and she makes these all the time. She makes her own fancy syrups to go with them. But I have to do sugar-free. So mine, of course, I make my own. So I do have some sugar-free va French vanilla for today. If you want coffee, I recommend the Nescafe Taster's Choice Colombian. There is also a... Um, Walmart brand. I like I like Colombian, so this this is good for me. There definitely is a correlation between the quality of the instant coffee and the taste of your drink. So just be aware of that. So you can either use sticks, right? Um, or I just bought a jar of this. This is gonna be a taste and see kind of a situation for everybody involved. But the basis is a half a cup of room temperature water. You don't need hot, you don't need extra cold, you just need a half a cup. I'm putting one tablespoon, so this is a half a tablespoon measure. I'm putting one tablespoon in my cup here. You have to just kind of taste and see what you like, how strong you like it. I like this packet, which is not quite a tablespoon, in a half a cup of water too. I haven't measured these out, I just got these today. But for travel purposes, that's the move for me. Then I put three stevia because, again, I do sugar-free. So I do three packets of stevia. And I don't overly like it sweet, but I do like a squirt and a little bit of vanilla. Again, it's all to taste. This is not a recipe. This is a process. She shakes hers in a mason jar, which is fantastic. But I'm bougie, apparently, and I have a frother. But you really just want to mix it and make sure that all of your grounds dissolve. And they will. It just takes a minute. It also gets some air up in here to make it kind of frothy. This is a Bodum. I also have one from Ikea because, again, I got issues. So I pour that over the ice. Now, again, you can put this in a mason jar and shake her up. Then I use Fairlife milk because it has 50% less sugar and 50% more protein. That's me, you do you, whatever milk you like. Almond, coconut, almond, coconut blend, flavored, plain milk, it doesn't matter. And I need one cup of this-ish. I don't, I don't measure, but for the sake of this, I'm measuring. I just pour it in, usually. And I like a little half and half in mine, just to add a little richness. So I would just put what I would normally put in my coffee. And a lot of ice. And then I just pour it all in. If you're doing this in a mason jar, you would shake it, add your ice, then add your milk. And one cup of this milk has six carbohydrates. Total sugars are six, but it doesn't seem to mess with me too bad. Mm. Delicious. Delish. Oh, I'll show you. It's my Duke cup. I don't have a lot of lids, cups without lids because cats. It's so good, guys. So good. And it's gonna be my summer drink of choice, I fear. And I'm saving myself money because at Starbucks, a cold, an iced coffee is $4.25. At Dunkin' Donuts, a medium cold brew is like $3.75 or something. This whole jar was $6. This was $5. So $11. And this has 52 ounces. I, somebody math, I don't know, but it's it saves me money. How many cups are in 52 ounces? Let's see. Alexa, 
How many cups are in 52 ounces? 6.5 cups. So less than a dollar a serving of milk and pennies for the espresso. This convenience pack was only $1.19 of the Cafe Bastella and the sticks. Now, a stick is 2.6 grams. I haven't done the measurement to see. I mean, we can do it and see. Here, we'll do it into back into here because it's the same thing. I know that um, the stick of the Nespresso Colombian, it tastes more like a iced coffee than it does a um, latte. And again, the only difference is a latte is made with espresso, so it's stronger. Um, if you took espresso and added water to it, it's an Americana. So there's lots of options. Okay. So I know this is not a tablespoon, or I don't think it is. I will tell you though, it's much finer ground. So half a tablespoon. Okay. So if I wanted it strong, I would use two of these because this is a half a tablespoon measure. But if you can see in here, you probably can't. But the grounds are much smaller, like it's a finer grind. You just gotta try it. That's the end of the day. You just have to try it. But I know when I travel, I'm gonna buy a couple boxes of these. You get six for $1.19. It's the same, cheaper actually than getting drink mixes. But I will bring these with me and I'll know that two will make me this size of a ice latte. Right? Can't find my mouth. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my little tutorial on this. And again, Mama D on TikTok was the first person I have seen make it. I'm sure it is not just her. It, you know, lots of people are doing it. All the cool kids are doing it. But it's delicious and it's going to save us some money. Because we don't need to be going to Starbucks every day. Lori. Alright guys, have a fantastic day. I'll talk with you later. Bye.